<laughs> Looking good, man. There they are. I'm happy. We have sheep right here. I'm out here with my son and my father. This is something that I've been dreaming about, and now it's here. Do you think I'm whining? Kind of. We're inches away from them seeing us, and that's their life. I mean, their life is just watching out for each other. So after going to bed last night with the image of sheep running in the opposite direction, full out, uh, it was not awesome. But looking at the maps, I think what they did is they've ran across the plateau and then they're gonna drop down in the cliffs for the night. Our plan, I guess, so this morning is to try and go down through the drainage up onto this ridge and cut up in behind the mountain that we seen the sheep on last night. We figured it might be a two day trek. So we're gonna take our stuff with us. So if we have to stay overnight, we'll stay overnight. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works out. Hunting's hunting. There's two rams up there. I believe the left one is good. He's looking straight on at us. But he's got dark horns, so it's indication of some age. He doesn't drop down, but he's kind of this wide flaring. But he's straight on at me. He's not giving me a profile, but he's probably going to make it by age. But I, I just don't know yet. You think this looks illegal? One on the left looks legal, eh, Gray? Yeah. We gotta get maybe from above, maybe, I don't know. Your dad will know better. I don't have a plan because I don't know if it's legal or not. Once he gave me a profile, he's not what we're looking for. And the other one is just comes down really tight to the head and they're still young rams, so. It's not what we're doing. Keep on moving, hey? Keep on moving. You can't squeeze any more inches out of a, out of a horn, even if you wait one more day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I see the sheep that uh, pulled out of there last night. They're all gathered together really tight. It almost looks like a snow patch. I started going down this ridge here, and I thought, I'm going to stand that mountain, and uh, sure enough, they're, they're all there. So our plans change dramatically within moments. I'm happy we have sheep right here. <laughs> Looking good, man. There they are. They are not where we left them last night. That's a big deal. Up here, see up on the, right up on Remember the Remember where there. they were last night feeding? Uh, oh, oh the, yeah. The white, white ones? Yeah, yeah. That changes things, right? I gotta be honest, it makes me look really, really happy. Makes me happy too, to shed that pack. <laughs> oh man. We're gonna drop gear right here. Yeah. We have to bring the gun though. We have to bring the gun, buddy. You got we, that right. We might need that. Are we bringing fire skin? Basically, you get out of bed, and you put them on. Last thing you take off before you go to bed. They are the lifeline of being able to see what's out here. So we never go anywhere without our binoculars when we're in the mountains. Head torch, right? Yep. To bring the head torch. Yeah, I got yours. When you see an animal and now you go to pursue it, it's called stalking the animal. You mean like sneaking up on it? Correct. We have to be super <laughs> sneaky. Like we're playing hide and seek. We are hiding and we're seeking at the same time. It's a little bit different. Um, we're just going up to see if we can get a sheep. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. You look pretty excited. Every step forward is one step toward the goal. I turn back and he's still moving, so that's great. He might be the only guy that I've ever hunted with that's out hunting in the mountains in his long johns at the moment and ski goggles. It's interesting. <laughs> oh man. You warm enough yet? No, I'm fine. I think we got a shot at this one today. It's happening. We're just up over the ridge here, another maybe mile, mile and a half, two miles at the most, I would think. And we should be in position. The chances are that we will harvest a, an animal if we play it smart. Okay. I've only ever seen rams like that group up and run together when something spooked them. Learning every day in the mountains. I never thought for a second that they would be back here in that same basin this morning. Okay, there's 1,300 yards, or obviously way too far. We're getting there now, it's like every step is critical. 
he's working hard to get here. This trek has been uh, really difficult for me. The, the uphill climb especially, and you're walking through the brush and uh, you have to watch every step you take. Those rams are up there and it's just a matter of us getting to them and getting dad into a shooting position and giving them the best chance possible. We're stalking these rams and for one of the first times, I'm like, I'm just gonna enjoy this. I'm out here with my son and my father and you know my father's pushing it he's working hard and it's time to just take it in and no matter what happens it doesn't matter what happens it's just about that guy and being out here with him and my son this is something that i've been dreaming about and now it's here and to not take the time and enjoy it would be a huge error so my dad may not think that i'm enjoying it but i am I kind of got to keep the throttle on in order to get to get this so we're going to see how it all goes but nonetheless this is a dream come true for me i've learned one lesson and i've learned it well is that being hydrated is likely one of the most important things when you're in the mountains you got to keep your liquids up otherwise you go into cramp mode and you're in serious trouble and i've been there I've actually been there twice in my hunts that i've cramped up and uh Usually at night, once I stop and lay down, the, the pain is horrendous. It's devastating. And this is the way to go. As we walk up here, always looking to make sure that there's nothing coming. Okay? Always keep your eyes up. Or binoculars up. 937 yards. You can see them really clear now. If they would have stayed in that little bit of a ravine and behind the rocks, we would have been in good shape. We have to get to the top of this rise. Yeah. And I think that we'll be within 500 yards. Okay. It's just twice as hard climbing, right? So I'm going to have to pace myself for sure. You think I'm whining? Kind of. No! Hey, don't say that. You want, you've never heard me whine yet. Well, there's lots of moaning and groaning. Oh, we just have not that, seen yeah. a tear yet, right? Uh, you know, the amount of wind and the amount of brush that's moving here, we should be able to move without alerting them. We're within a thousand yards. Stand behind this stuff. Let's do that. We're going to pick our way in around these bushes. You probably don't have to bend down so much. The rest of us definitely do. We're just going to try to stay into the high bushes. Yeah, we're really open now, eh? I hate being in this position. We have to go at them from this angle. And it's just gonna be a far shot. One step in front of the other, and we're gonna get there eventually. 500 yards, let's go. Closing in on them, bud. Stay tight. Don't look at them, Coulter. We must be pretty close to that creek, right? Yeah, the creek is right here, which is 70 yards of full exposure. Yeah. Well, we have to keep it low and Take our time to get in that hole. I don't think we have a choice. Yeah. But they're wide open. They're sitting up there. They can see this whole valley, and you know we're just hoping that we don't uh, spook them. We're a thousand yards. We're basically gonna have to crawl through this willow for the next 250 or so. Let's go. I've ever been on. There's nothing in my mind that compares to this. The bison hunt was tough, but this is crazy. Fourteen rams is just a lot of eyes. A lot of sheep in one place and spread out. 
Well, we're, we're definitely in the zone. The biggest problem is we've got some wind we have to deal with and a, roughly an 800 yard shot. We're gonna try and get in a little bit closer. We're on a ridge right now and we're just over the ridge, just to the top of the ridge here, inches away from them seeing us. And that's their life. I mean, their life is just watching out for each other. So hopefully it all works out. It's been really challenging to try to put a stock on them. We've got, you can get 800 yards on them, but I think 600 yards is doable, but I think eight is too much. So what I want to do is go back around and try to get around the other side of the hill, come down toward them. That's the best plan I've got right now. Let's go.
You got him, Dad. Yeah. You got him. Hold on. Don't shoot again. Don't shoot again. There he is. Okay. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Walter, get in here. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> This is going to be the toughest, toughest hunt I've ever been on. Thank you, son. Colter, come here. I want to give you a big hug. Come here, buddy. This is something else. This is a... Love you guys. Love you. Oh, get up there and have a look at him. Oh, baby. Again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's out there. I love you. Just like last night, right there. Oh, <laughs> Running away. Running away. Yeah, look at them go. They're high tail net. I said it earlier that this is a this is a dream hunt. No matter whether we are able to get something or we're not, there's a dream that I've been thinking about since since he was born. So. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's huge. Big. It's huge. If I think about following in my grandson's footsteps, <laughs> I never thought I'd love to see the day, but you know what? I followed you in your footsteps now, and you did when I, you were younger, following mine. So it's a generation after generation, right? And now we got culture with us, and it's just. And he, he never backed he did off awesome, anybody. Buddy. Yeah. There's no backing down, is there? No. Guess Do the work. Guess not. Right? Do the work. I think we did it. And I made one heck of a shot. <laughs> I'm pleased, very pleased uh, that it went as well as it did. And thank you, creator. Okay. Let's go see him. Let's go see him. This had to be the hardest hunt, son. I was never ready to give up, but I was tired out the other times when I had to sit my butt down and just get my head around what was going on and crawling through the underbrush and all the things that we did to get to this position is amazing. Last year, we worked in the snow and I thought that was hard. The bison hunt, I thought was crazy hard. This is beyond anything I thought I could do, to be honest with you. And you kept pushing me along. You just achieved a true backpack hunt. <laughs> oh, oh, look at the size of him. Congratulations, Dad. That's a good ram, Dad. He's a heavy based ram. Yeah, beautiful animal. It's something that he didn't go off the cliff either, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Get him. Are we gonna get him down here and get him? Or right? We're gonna do it right here. To harvest an animal, such a beautiful animal, is uh, almost once in a lifetime for a lot of guys. And this is my third, and I'm so proud of it. It's amazing, you know, that we could, we could be here together at this point in time and three generations to be on the mountain together and share in this moment. It's uh, Incredible. All I want is a nice photograph of us together so I can paste it on my wall somewhere and be so proud of it. I don't even know what to say. You know, you, you often hear guys say that. I don't know what to say, but it is difficult picking out the right words, you know, to make this such an important time and event in our lives. Right, Coulter? You will understand someday. <laughs> don't want to say <laughs> this is going to go down in the record books for me as probably the, one of the, the most special hunts of my life to this point. Getting to share it with you two. Great 10 year old ram, beautiful ram to take off the hill. But anyway, I, I want to talk about my shooting ability. <laughs> please do. Oh, please do. You know what? As much as I am a great shot, I mean, this verifies it, right? I mean, the last shot on the run was, you're, everybody said, oh yeah, you got lucky. Baloney! This is skill, and here we are here today. You know, we can have a little chuckle about it and everything, but reality says everything lines up. When the stars line up, they line up. I taught him everything he knows, by the way. And now, Coulter's gonna hang out with me too, so I'll have to give him some of that stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> this has been a special hunt, and I, you can joke and kid about a lot of things, you know, but you can't joke and kid about the fact that this was a hard hunt, and it ended in an amazing way, and I'm so happy about all of this. My grandson's here, and that's such a special moment, you know. What do you say? It's awesome. It is. <laughs>